Are you absolutely sure you want to do this? Yeah. You have to tell Vicky the truth about me and you. And you have to do it today. But why? Did something happen? Yeah. And if you don't come clean with Vicky, she's going to find out through somebody else. I see. And so what's going to happen to you? I have to tell the Buchanans I'm an imposter. And that the real Buchanan heir is still out there. Ooh. Adley, what on earth are you doing? I guess I knew this day would come eventually. Okay, whoa, Charlie, this doesn't mean that it's all over, okay? Because Natalie forgave me, and and we are together now. So, uh, the, uh, the, uh, that's great, Jared. And you were able to finally tell her the whole story? <laughs> she knows everything I know. But see, I can't ask her to keep this secret from, from, from Rex and her dad and her mom. And it's not right. And it's not right for me to make you do the same. Well, I mean, but she's the one who made you decide to come clean, huh? I wanted to tell everyone right away, yeah, but she was worried about her mom. Because she knows how much Vicky cares about you. And she didn't want to mess that up. And neither did I. So what changed your mind? Someone's blackmailing us, Dad. And now uh, we don't have a choice. Oh, I was, uh, was about to muck out of all the skis. Stop. She must be on a real high fiber diet. You know, I pay people to do that for us. I know. <laughs> I've never known you to be interested in riding the horses, much less shoving the manure. Yeah, I, uh, I guess, I guess I was converted back in Texas. You know, Chuck took me riding, but he also taught me how to take care of the horses. Is that right? Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I may not have grown up with horses, but I'm a Virginian. It's in my DNA, right? <laughs> Listen, I came out here to uh, go for a morning ride. You want to come with me? I can saddle up whiskey. No, no, no. Why not? Well, see, I was just about to, uh, to groom old Whiskey, and, and you don't want to take her out the way she's looking right now. You know something, Natalie? Asa would have bought you a pony when you were a kid, if only had known about you. Yeah, I know, but I, I did okay without a pony. You sure did. I mean, I wasn't trying to make you feel bad about the things that I was missing in my life, because I, I love my life. I love, I love my family. I love you, too. Yeah. And I'm proud of you. And I hated to see the disappointment in your eyes when I was dealing with that uh, takeover activity. I understand why you did what you did. Are you sure? Sometimes when you try to do what's best for your family, you have to do things that hurt. Spoken like a true man. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you a secret. Uh, this family is not easy to understand. True. And Jared, he got a baptism by fire, didn't he? Hostile takeover, hostile us. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's amazing how well things turned out, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, look at this. I don't have time for my morning ride anymore. Uh, I will get a hold of Peter and have him come over and help you if you insist no. on getting out the No, you know I insist on doing this myself because you know what? How else am I going to learn if everyone else does the dirty work for me? <laughs> okay. I know better than to argue with you, so uh, I'll see you at the office. Okay. okay. I, I promise to shower first. Yeah, that would make a lot of people happy. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay. Uh, okay, let's ski. Okay, I will take this gag out of your mouth. But if you even think about screaming, I will muck you up. Okay. Mm. Oh, this is sucking. You know what trait I find most attractive in a woman? The ability to lie effortlessly, which makes you smoking hot. David, I am nothing like you. I do not enjoy deceiving those I care about, although you, you only really care about yourself. Why does half this town forget that I gave half my liver to your half-sister? You know, what is your lovely mother going to think when she finds out that you've got me hogtied in a stall with old whiskey here? She feels sorry for the horse. Vicky's going to be awfully disappointed in you. 
when she finds out what you were willing to do for lust. I am doing this for her, you moron. For her? How? <laughs>